Welcome back to the Upper Tier, folks. This is Noel, your host. It is the Shanky Sessions, the Liverpool podcast. We bring you as part of the Upper Tier. Just thought I'd jump on away on holidays at the moment in Malaga, but I thought I'd give a little match reaction to yesterday's big win against Brentford. Winning 2-0 goals by Diaz and Salah. Slot's first competitive game at Anfield, well received. Great reception from the crowd and stuff like that. Vital, of course, to get a win as well and put on a really good performance. But I have to say, these guys look refreshed and ready to go now last week's match of course a lot of people were saying yeah liverpool look really really good and we did look really really good but it's only ipswich this week it was brentford at home can be sometimes a tricky tie against brentford thomas frank generally has the troops well set up and well coached and um, of course the missing ivan tony we thought he might play because he was back in training but obviously they still have signs of wanting to potentially move him on during this window but it was great to get the win 2-0 played really really well some of the link up play this season has been phenomenal so far those overlapping runs are back again those diagonal balls out to Salah and out to Diaz are back again the way we move the play the trickery of our pass and the link up play the way we hunt in packs the way we put on the press and everything this is really 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 refreshing now some of this was stuff that we got during the Jurgen Klopp era as well but with this one there seems to be more of a controlled kind of planned way of going about doing it um, we seen with some of the some of the substitutions and stuff like that obviously Trent not happy being subbed off I wouldn't want Trent to be happy being subbed off but again the gaffer sat down with him explained it to him you could see it there on camera Trent again still not happy but they have to understand that these players in some respects have to be protected a little bit we've seen it with Jota as well we need to manage his minutes because it's vital that we keep him fit Mo Salah with a beautiful goal as well cutting in from the right after picking up a sublime pass Dominic supposedly like an absolute torture rack in the middle of the midfield winning stuff back absolutely incredible battling for everything Ryan Garrett grabbing Berich in the six, doing what he does now the big test is coming up this week uh, against Man United at Old Trafford how will Ryan Gravenberg in the sixth perform against you know one of the traditional top six teams if you like and one of our, our, our key rival if you like down through the years the goal from Diaz we have to talk really set the tone stuff like that Brentford with a corner thinking that they're on the attack all of a sudden a quick break Jota picks up the ball puts it through the players legs onto Diaz and Diaz with a beautiful finish Great power, flecking, only getting a hand to couldn't really do much about it. But such a quick goal on the break was absolutely vital. And what it did was, on so many levels, it changed the Brentford approach then. They weren't committing as many players forward. A lot of the times then we were spending in their half. We were keeping the ball. Possession was unbelievable. Uh, we would 63% versus 37 which you would expect on Anfield and maybe a little bit higher, but our passing accuracy was insane at 93%. Our highest passing accuracy percentage, something like in 20 years or something like that, I was reading. So it was really, really, really impressive. Um, Visa was... You know, totally controlled within the game. And Buemo, they were hitting balls too. But again, very, very isolated and all that kind of stuff. So really, really impressive from Arnie Slot's man. He has slotted in there as well. Excuse the pun. But he has slotted in well. It looks like there isn't going to be so far a huge drop-off from Jurgen leaving and stuff like that. It looks like Arnie has gone in there. I think the players are getting clear and direct instructions about what's expected of them when they go on. And even when they're in the starting eleven and stuff like that. He very much coaches from the sideline as well. You can see the way he moves things about. He's quite animated and stuff. Um, but really, really impressive. Dominic Bozlo yesterday, link up play and attacking and press and everything was really, really there. Kind of the Dominic Sabozlo that we purchased and what we were expecting. But um hopefully maybe we can get a couple of players in, but let's see what happens. But if we don't, we're gonna have to push forward with what we have. And if he fails, that's enough. We have to back the gaffer, don't we? We know there could be a drop off if we do get injuries and stuff like that. Even yesterday you're saying uh, when some of those substitutions were made, it wasn't quite knitting together the same effect and stuff like that. And maybe that team that finished on the pitch yesterday evening might necessarily give us a kind of a an impression of what might be to come if players do get injured. So we still have to keep the pressure on and try and get a couple of bodies in and stuff like that. But 
a lot of positivity coming out of yesterday as well. Big win, six points, no goals conceded, another clean sheet. Obviously, very, very important as well. Kanata yesterday was immense. But the key thing for us as well is when we talk about man of the match, there were so many contenders yesterday for man of the match. And that means we're really playing really well as a team and as a unit. So many players, very hard to kind of divvy down who you're going to give your man of the match to. Some people might say that even Flecken was man of the match. Some of the saves he made just they were incredible. This score line could have been much higher. And a shout out to the guy who missed out on the Super uh, the super 6. Missing out by one goal. He had Liverpool to win 3-0 and he had the other five results in. So shout out to him. Thinking of him today. Missed out on a million quid. Um, and that, that one, that, that chance that we had where Collins put it onto the bar or whatever it was. You know what I mean? That was the opportunity, wasn't it? But so far, so good. Huge week coming up for Liverpool now after Old Trafford and the Rivals. If we could win there, God knows what might happen, you know what I mean? And obviously for United as well, drama, Brighton, they're going to be really pushing. They're going to need a win going into this international break, so let's see what happens. Reds, let us know your thoughts about the game down in the comments. Of course, subscribe to the channel, the upper tier. Hit the bell notification button and drop a like on the video. I will be back tomorrow, I think it is, where I'm going to do a review on Pro Wrestling Weekly for AEW All In. I really enjoyed the show, I have to say, and I'll let you know my thoughts on that tomorrow. But for now, Reds, two games, two wins, two clean sheets, nothing to be worried about post-clop error. Bring on the competition this weekend. Let's go, Reds.